Hi everybody, I'm Hayden Crawford and I'm a wellness coach and spiritual teacher specialising in colour therapy and numerology. Here is your Starseed Oracle forecast for the first two weeks of April 2021. So first things first, we've got to acknowledge that we are now in a universal month, cycle nine, because we're in April, which is uh, the fourth month. And also we're in 2021, which reduces to a five. So we add the four and the five together and it creates nine, which is Mars energy. So Mars is red over orange in the color mirror system. And this is fire. OK, so it's fire energy so it's activity energy mobility vitality confidence passion you know all of that, that those red characteristics so it also aligns to aries because we're in aries and aries is that courageous ram and the arians like the practical aspects of life and the material aspects of life and the physical aspects they like to be involved in lots of different things and they often go thing into you know their their life opportunities like like a bull in a china shop really you know so it's like if you've ever met an Aries because they're the baby of the zodiac they often do things in quite a um, you know sort of a, a a linear fashion. Now we can also recognise that this month the Lyrans want to connect with us because the the Lyrans are intimately attached to the base chakra energies because they're very physical beings they they love adventure and thrill seeking um, now lyra is a relatively small constellation surrounded by hercules cygnus and draco and the lyrans are mostly cat-like beings so they've got cat features although some of them are, are, are bird-like as well and they have also incarnated into arcturus and the pleiades so they they span lots of different star systems as well so they don't just exist within lyra now lyran star seeds are you know they love indulging in you know good food and the physical aspects of life and you know sex and all of that they're they're, they're very you know sort of re related to anything that is the physical body and they really want to be able to um, enjoy like being human um because you know like a cat you know they've got this 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 beautiful sort of quite flamboyant and um and almost quite an addictive personality so we also have to recognize that when we've got all of this red energy around us it can manifest in numerous different ways depending on whether you're living positively or negatively so if you're living positively it will help you to take those inspired actions to achieve your goals and dreams in life if you're living negatively it can manifest as anger and frustration or, or fear um, and especially fear of your own safety and security on the planet it can also bring up the numbers 444 as well because the four is on the physical plane and you know like last month when we looked at the hydean energy a lot of the the symbolism was appearing as 333 well now that the lyran's are very much aligned to the energy of April, you might see it as 444. So to be able to receive the information for your Oracle forecast this month, we first of all want to connect up to our Lyra and Star family. Okay, and the way we do this is, and I want you to just follow as I go through this, is just close your eyes, put your hands together like this and just ask your beautiful Lyran family, you know, whether that they're from Vega, you know, which is the the largest uh, planet within Lyra or or other parts of Lyra. So just connect up to them and just ask for them to come down. Surround yourself with this beautiful red, vibrant auric light. Just imagine that splaying out all around you. And you want to ask for clear and concise information that you can fully understand integrate and then anchor into your awareness so that you can really take the inspired action you need to take during those first two weeks of April okay so now that we've done that we're going to look at three cards now the first card 
is a the call of your ego. The second one is the call of your soul. And the third one is the inspired action that your Lyra and Star family want you to take. So this is the first card and it's called the Courageous Peony. The Courageous Peony. All right. Which is very Aryan and Lyra and um, it's very red energy. It's about, you know, activating the confidence and courage from deep within to show your true colours. The peony opens up, you know, without any fear that she's going to be judged or, or anything like that. You know, the and, and, and is really, really beautiful because she doesn't have any restrictions like that. And actually, it's about letting yourself be seen. So the call of your ego is, your ego is saying, look, you've got to be seen now. It's time for you to step up and and do the work. And whether that's, you know, doing Facebook lives or whether that's being a bit more visible within your job um, or just within your family dynamic, fear of visibility can sometimes stop you from personal growth. Um, and we have to shine a light into it because otherwise we stay quite small. So the Lyrans are confident, you know, and the Aries is confident and Red is confident. And, you know, so so really we have to find that from deep within. So it's about, you know, your multifaceted, unique nature. You are unique. Don't compare yourself to anybody else because you'll never be like them because you were you. You chose to be you, not them. And, you know, they, they may appear to be brighter lights than you but that could all be smoke and mirrors so so really take a good look at yourself in the mirror and, and and say right okay I'm going to I'm going to show the world who I truly am now because we're using the color mirrors as well I've brought in a bottle that aligns to the energy of the courageous peony and this one is g32 so it's this gorgeous kind of like sparkly rose pink of a clear bottle and it's one of the silver guys actually so it's all about it helps you with freedom and expansion and communication it helps you to recognize that you are that rose in the garden you know you you are that beautiful and you've got a very clear connection because you're a star seed to that star family and that you are actually divine love you are that you know you your soul is divine love so why would you not want to share that okay now, the second card that I've got for you today is the call of your soul. OK, so this is the call from your soul and it's all paths lead home. OK, all paths lead home. So it's this card here. Isn't it beautiful? Now, this one is about trusting your inner authority and your intuition because you know best. We don't need to you know, ask the external other to give us advice and guidance when all we need to do is close our eyes, go into a deep brainwave state, like an alpha brainwave state and retrieve the answers from within. Now, it aligns beautifully with G30 in the color mirror system, which is this inky blue with this beautiful kind of sparkly, almost starlight presence about it over, over clear. And it's another one of the silver guys and it's G30. So this is about expansion that takes place from reconnecting to your inner guidance system that's called the wisdom keeper and you are that so your soul wants you to know that you have all of this wisdom this deep ancient wisdom which is accessible to you and all you have to do is tap into it by setting an intention and then actually just meditating or trusting what comes up for you and that's where you'll find your value so it's about you are your own inner authority. OK, so indigo is all about authority. It's like the boys in blue. You know, it's you you are the own authority within your own life. And that will help you to get to a place of self-acceptance. OK, now, if you uh, and then sorry, your third card that I have for you is is actually the inspired action that your Lyran star family, which is a multi dimensional aspect of who you truly are because we are all things and all places. And this one is, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay? So forgiveness needs to take place, okay? And this is about defenselessness. It's about writing past wrongs, and it's also about uprooting as well. So it brings in the energy of bottle 22 in the color mirror system, which is actually called forgiveness. And this one is deep magenta over rose pink. 
bottle 22 is, uh, is a master number. But it's saying, okay, so you, you never, you've never done anything wrong. OK, so everything that happens is always perfect. And, and actually guilt is the biggest misunderstanding of all, because if everything is divinely ordained, then who are you to sit outside of that? So sometimes we have to bring in rituals or techniques like Ho'oponopono, which is I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. So the action step for you to take is not only to forgive yourself, forgive your parents, but also to forgive your creator who allegedly got you into this mess in the first place. So you could try bathing in beautiful bottle number 22, um, which is incredibly powerful, and it'll help you to integrate in, uh, that, that transformation within your cellular memory. So it'll help you to forgive at a soul level, um, or the red ruby or something like that, or, or just going through some forgiveness cord cutting techniques okay where you are you're literally letting go because all forgiveness really and all healing is about forgiveness and letting go now this can be done on an, uh, on an ancestral basis as well like because a lot of the time um even if we've done nothing wrong within this lifetime if we've done something wrong within our previous incarnations that's caught up within our cellular memory and our dna and, and the gene pool so you might be called to do some ancestral healing and clearing as well. And that will take it seven generations back and seven generations into the future as well. And the Lyrans want you to do that because that will help you to feel more safe and secure on the planet. And it will, you know, it'll help you to take the inspired action that they want you to take. So it's a it's a month of of of, of physical action and confronting your fears so they disappear. Okay? So I hope you've enjoyed that. Remember, I'll be back in a couple of weeks time with some more Starseed Oracle forecasts. So have an amazing start to April, everybody, and be that courageous ram. Bye for now.